Hello everyone, I'd like to share with you my latest journal. This was a design team project for Paulette from TLC Creates Vintage. The kit that I've used in this one is Childhood Happy Life and there are a few other um, ephemera pieces from another kit of Paulette's that's called Just the Basics Primer. The journal measures eight inches by five and a half. Fabric hardcover, buttons, vintage buttons on the spine, um, crochet trim, Again, the rose fabric on the back and some more of the crocheted trim. On the front, there's a picture from the kit and there's a little seam binding bow there with some beads on a bulb pin, some more vintage buttons there. There are two signatures in this journal. I did only to intend doing one, but there was so much in the kit, it grew. So there are two signatures in it and there's around 96 pages in total, front and back. Okay, on the inside, I've used some quotes through it that I had. Um, at the front there, there's a flap and there's a little tuck spot there with some note paper and I used a little bit of the fabric from the kit. Image there from the kit, some children playing with the father. The images are really nice and the, the kit is easy to use. You can make them bigger or smaller if you wish to. Um, this flaps out for more journaling space and there is also a tuck spot at the back there. Lots of journaling space all the way through this. Little things make big life. A piece of flower paper there that I had left over. I think this image is from the old design shop and I've just glued that onto a little envelope and there's a tuck spot there front and back. These tags I've distressed with distress ink and I think the colour was frayed burlap it's really nice when it dries, there's lots of different colours in it, it's a little bit greens and blues in there. Some seam binding on there and that says take time to enjoy. And on the back it says stay curious. Tag from the kit and another image there of a little girl, I think with her grandfather, busy in the garden. The backs of the pages um, are from the kit as well. and. They're pale enough so that you can actually write on them, so there is lots of journaling space, as I say. Glassine bag here. Today is full of possibilities, and this is one of the pages or cards from the kit, the basic primer set. Envelope here with a, a paper clip there with some uh, beads on it. This image is from the kit, and say it's a, an envelope that opens up. I can never get the paper clips on. But again, from the kit, image there of a little girl with a piano. This one opens up. Lots of space. Together is the best place to be in this little glassine bag tucked in the back there. From the basic primer kit. And the little photograph there that I had. And some um, calico there that's been tea dyed. There's a ruffle. This one again, some another paper clip with beads on. The photo, I think the photos were for pin, from Pinterest. And there's a little envelope there. Another image from the kit there. More journaling space, and this says, simple things can make you smile, and two little girls there. I think that's from the old design shop, playing in a wheelbarrow. Again, another little tuck spot there. It says, enjoy life. centre of the first signature and again from the kit. The reverse pages of the kit are like a, a sepia negative of the coloured image so there's a little girl there playing the piano and there it is in colour and all the pages are like that. Collect beautiful moments, a little boy there on his bike. Glassine bag, there are actually three tuck spots in this one and that says live in the moment. Again, little girl there doing her washing. And this is the back of the primer page. Vintage crochet doily there that's been stitched to the page. And there's one of the basic primer cards. Um, two little cards here, both from, that's from the primer kit and that's from this childhood happy life kit. And they actually fit in the, they do fit in the envelope. With the top spot there, that's the a ruffle made from the fabric and the vintage button, and again from the kit. I 
I didn't put lots on these tags because I thought it's a nice area for people to put something for their own on. Little tuck spot here and again that's a little coin envelope on there and again there's a little spot there at the back. This is a, a little envelope that was left over from a, a previous journal that I made, included that. This opens up and there are two little tuck spots either side there and one at the back as well. I watched Wendy's um, journal adventures. I don't have any um, Project Life cards, but I have playing cards. So I made a little fold out book following Wendy's tutorial. And this one is one of the envelopes um, similar to the one that Tracy Fox did, where it's some paper is stitched in. So it opens up, I've put a little bit of Velcro on there and that says Happy Life which is the name of the kit and on the back there's places that you can write as well so that's included. Second signature, again that one folds out, Child's Play, Home of Bees, again the tuck spot there and that's from the old design shop. Life is about creating yourself, hold tight to your dreams. Again from the kit, tabbed on there, a little paper clock with some paper clip with some vintage fabric, glassine bag and again that card is from the basic primer and that says make the flowers grow. It's another bead dangle there and an envelope again that's an image from the kit and some of the vintage fabric that I had so that's an envelope. Another of the glassine bags that one's from the basic primer kit. And there's a little notepad there that's been stitched and included. And that says, life doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful. From the basic primer, these fabric uh, fabrics, papers, I've had left over from a previous journal, so I've included them. A little bit of um, calico ruffle there. Another one of the small envelopes, again with writing space and a little photo on there. That one is from the kit. That says make a difference. Again the distressed, um, frayed burlap distressed tabs. Centre of the second signature, journaling space in there. Again another little tuck spot there and it says today is full of possibilities. Another picture of a very cheeky looking little boy there. Again, that opens out two tuck spots there and there's a tuck spot there at the back as well. This again is um, some beads on there and that's another of the little envelopes on there. From the basic primer set. Little butterfly. Lovely image, I love that one. I don't know if they're collecting fish, doing the washing, collecting water. It says Little Brook there. And again, another of the vintage um, doilies that I had. And a pic image from the, from the kit. Another glassine bag there. There's the image again of the father having fun with, with the children. of the images from the kit. The kit's lovely to use. Paulette's kits, you can resize them really easily so you can make them full page or smaller, um, whichever size you want them to be. Really easy to use, lovely images. Again, there's a little card there that tucks in that little bit. And again, there is another tuck spot there. And at the back page, that says, live the moment, live in the moment. Again, that opens up for writing space. And there's another of the cards tucked in there. Image there, it must be wash day, two little tots walking. And on the back page, another tuck spot, live your dreams. And two more of the journaling cards. Again, that one's from the basic primer. And that one's the image of the little girl in the garden. Lovely kit. Really enjoyed using it. Thank you, Paulette, for giving me the opportunity to use one of your kits. 
I do hope you like it. It will be for sale um, in my Etsy store later on today. Thank you very much for watching. Any questions, please do message me. Thank you. Bye-bye.